Bogart lives here on KCTV. The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. What kind of wood is this? Pine. And uh, you, you can break through this with your bare hand? Yeah, I think I can. He broke two of them yesterday. <laughs> well, good luck. <laughs> Boy, that's great. So why don't I try a couple of them? Well, why don't you try three? You know you can break two of them. Huh? Okay. Clean as a whistle. Well, actually, it isn't as hard as it looks. Your, your mental attitude has a lot to do with it. If you think you can do it, you can. Well, I, I think I can. <laughs> well, see, the idea of karate is to concentrate all your force on one spot. But it also helps if you have strong hands. Well, you develop those along the way. Well, uh, what's the reason for all this? Well, for one thing, it keeps you in pretty good shape. Well, basically, it's just a fancy way of chopping wood. Are you kidding? There's a lot more to karate than that. It would certainly come in handy if you ever had to defend yourself. Well, that's a matter of opinion. If I had you in a hammerlock, a lot of good all that chopping around would do you. Well, come on, you'd never get close enough to lay a hand on me. You hope. What do you say, Pop? Well, uh, personally, I'm from the old school. I, I think there's nothing more disconcerting than a good old-fashioned punch in the nose. <laughs> Mom, fellas, dinner's ready. We're eating early tonight. Okay, Mom. Uh, I'll be right with you. I want to get my coat. I just stopped by to pick up Dave. Yeah, I know. He's just finishing up a few things for Mr. Kelly. He'll be out in just a minute. Oh, Mr. Kelly, would you tell Dave Rick's here? Thank you. He'll be right out. Oh, thanks. Dave tells me you're getting awfully good at judo. Well, it, it isn't exactly judo. It's karate. Oh, yeah, I read about that. That could be pretty dangerous, can't it? Well, it can be if you don't have a good instructor. I've only been doing it for a couple of months. It takes years to get really good at it. Well, that's the way it is with most anything that's worthwhile. Yeah, it seems that way. Oh, hi, Rick. Hi, Dave. Right on time for a change. What happened? Well, my watch was fast. That's a pretty good reason. Yeah, especially since he doesn't own a watch. <laughs> well, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so long, Dave. Goodbye, Rick. Bye. Oh, and Rick, next time bring a board with you and break it for me. Okay. <laughs> Telling her about karate? Oh, she was just asking me a little bit about it. You want to take a lesson while we're down to gym? Uh, no thanks. I think I'll stick to wrestling. Oh, uh, wait a second. You dropped this. Oh, thank you. Here, let me carry that for you. Well, thanks. Oh, whereabouts are you going? Just down the hall. Uh, you're new in the building, aren't you? Yes, I am. Well, I guess we're going to be neighbors. I work here at Dobson & Kelly. Oh, isn't that nice? I work for Mr. Judson. He's a private investigator. Uh, I heard he was moving in. Uh, I'm Dave Nelson. This is my brother, Ricky. Hi, I'm Jean Robertson. Oh, gee, that sounds interesting, working for a private investigator. Oh, I hope so. I'm just starting. Well, here we are. Well, where do you want me to put this? Oh, on the chair would be just fine. Thank you so much. Oh, that's okay. Oh, Mr. Judson, this is Rick and Dave Nelson. How do you do? Hi, fellas. Hello. Dave works at the law office down the hall. Uh, Dobson and Kelly. Oh, yes, I've heard of them. It's a very good firm. Oh, thank you. How's the private investigating business these days? Well, it's not quite as exciting as they portray it on television, that's for sure. <laughs> You're disillusioning me. Well, for the most part, it's pretty dull. You see, I spend a lot of time checking records and statistics and trying to collect bills, mostly my own. <laughs> 
mean, there's no physical action at all, huh? Well, not if I can avoid it. You see, I don't carry a gun, and if you'll notice, I wear glasses. <laughs> if you ever need anybody to break a few boards with his hand, Ricky's very good at it. What's this? Oh, David's just kidding me. I've been taking some karate lessons. Oh, I've heard about that. Actually, David's a strong-arm man of the family. Well, both you guys look like you take care of yourselves pretty well. I'll tell you what. If I ever need any muscle around here, I'll give you a ring. Uh, why don't you leave your phone number with Gene? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, it sure does. Uh, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Judson. Thank you. Uh, nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice meeting you, fellas, and drop around any time. Uh, it's nice meeting you, Gene. Oh, wait a minute. How about the phone number? Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, you know, what was that again? Uh, your phone number. Oh. Thank you. Bye. 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 Oh, hold this for me, will you, Dave? Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, thanks. I like your outfit, too. It's not exactly Ivy League, but it may catch on. You're just jealous. Uh, there's Jack. I'll see you later. Wait a second. Stick around. Watch me work out. You may learn something. No, thanks. Hi, Rick. Oh, hi, Bruce. Sorry I'm late. Oh, it's okay. I just got here myself. Well, shall we start with some of the forms? Okay. Bow. Begin. Shall we work on the comité? Okay. Well, shall we? By all means. Dave, Rick looks pretty good. Yeah, he sure does. Don't tell him I said so. <laughs> hey, Rick, look at this. <laughs> yeah, that's very impressive. Thanks a lot, pal. Anytime. Hi, Mom. Oh, hi, fellas. How was the workout? Oh, fine, thank you. Fine. 
Oh, say, before I forget it, there was a phone call for you, a girl named Jean Robertson. Hey, that's the girl from the detective agency. Yeah, that's right. What's this? Well, we met a girl this afternoon, and she works for a private investigator. Oh. Did she say what she wanted? No, she just said it was important for you to call her right back. Hey, maybe Mr. Judson's got a job for us. Is he the private investigator? Yeah, we were talking to him about it, and he said he'd call us if he needed us. Well, what kind of work? Well, anything he needs. Well, what do you mean by anything? <laughs> don't worry, Mom. We're big boys now. Oh, we better call her back. What's the phone number at the office? Well, I don't know. Didn't you get it? Well, no, I thought you got it. Why better detectives you guys would make? Well, gee, we can't call her back until we get the number. Well, how about trying Wallet 78943? That's the one she gave me when she called. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us, Mom? Hope you guys didn't volunteer for anything dangerous. Well, we didn't actually volunteer for anything. It's probably just to collect some bills or something. Hi, Gene. This is Dave Nelson. What can we do for you? Oh, sure, put him on. Mr. Judson. Oh, hi, Mr. Judson. Oh, yeah, sure, I guess so. Well, sure, we'll be glad to do it. What time does it arrive? Okay. Well, you can count on us. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye. Well, we got a job. What is it? Well, the Emporium is having a big promotional deal on a new line of Italian imports. You know, dresses and stuff? Yeah, go ahead. Well, anyway, as part of the promotion, they're going to display some art objects from Italy. Some of them are pretty valuable. Well, what are we supposed to do? Oh, we're supposed to pick them up at the airport and make sure they get to the Emporium safely. You mean you're supposed to guard them? Well, uh, just until they're delivered to the Emporium. Well, what time are we supposed to pick them up? Well, that's the toughest part of the assignment. We have to get up at 3.30. They arrive at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. I don't like the whole idea. Well, all we have to do is deliver some art objects. Some very valuable art objects. Well, it's nothing to worry about, Mom. It's just a routine job. We're just glorified delivery boys. Well, if it's so easy, why does Mr. Judson go himself? Well, he probably didn't want to get up that early in the morning. Okay, come on, you get ready for dinner. And I still don't like the idea. Hey, Rick. Look at this defensive move Jack showed me this afternoon. What's it for? It's for when a guy's coming at you with a knife. Pretend you got a knife. Oh, wait a second. Uh, hey, Mom, can I borrow your bread knife? Can I cut it out and get ready for dinner? Oh, there you go. The King Lives Here on KCTV. You guys ready for bed so soon? Yeah, we have to get up at 3.30. Oh, yeah, well, don't forget to set the alarm. Okay. Gee, uh, I hope we don't wake you guys up. I probably won't even go to bed tonight. Oh, stop worrying, Mom. Yeah, we almost forgot to kiss Mom goodbye. Uh, good night. That's not funny. <laughs> good night, Mom. Good night, dear. Good luck, fellas. Thanks, bye. Thanks, bye. Good night. Good night. I'm worried about the boys. <laughs> Cut it out, will you? They can take care of themselves. Well, I hope so. Hey, look at this. What's that? Well, this article. It tells all about the promotion the Emporium is having for those Italian dresses. Hey, she looks pretty cute. I don't mean the girl. I mean what it says there. It tells all about the valuable art objects that are coming in. They shouldn't put that in the paper. What? That's the idea, to publicize the thing. Well, what if some underworld character should read it? It would tip him off. Look, uh, in the first place, no underworld character in his right mind would get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. And you're not worried about the boys at all? Well, sure I am a little bit. As I say, they can take care of themselves. Well, I guess so. Uh, let me see that article again. Oh, yeah. A very pretty girl. Come on, dear. You're getting tired. I can tell. shipment for the Emporium. Oh, you mean those valuable art objects? Yeah, that's right. The shipment just arrived. It's in the back. Follow me, boy. Pardon me, gentlemen. Thank you. 
say if you're not doing anything tomorrow night, how about a dip? Sure, handsome, if you're still around. Thanks again. Anytime. And be careful with that. We don't want it broken now. Okay. you got here on time. I have to have the display set up before the store opens. Say, did you have any trouble? No, just routine. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. It was the easiest money I ever made in my life. That's what you think. What's this? Get into the back room, sister, before I plug you. <laughs> okay, fellas, take the crate. And don't mess the college boys up too much. They're kind of cute. Okay, you're the lady. Stand back. Now, just a second... Whom do you think you're pointing that gun at? Whom? You, that's whom. Okay, who wants a punch in the nose? Pa, oh, what are you doing here? Well, uh, your mother said you might need some help. What's this about a punch in the nose? You heard me. I'll give you a punch in the nose. You do and I'll bleed all over you. you, buddy, but I'm tired. Great work, Pop. Oh, thanks, son. You know what I've always said? There's nothing like a good old-fashioned punch in the nose. Right in here, officers. Okay, come on, on your feet, you guys. There are a couple more over here, officer. Here's another one for you. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> He's a little guy, but he sure is fast. <laughs> Oh, don't worry about her. She's out in back trying on dresses. This is about it. Well, there's only one way to thank you, fellas. Any time at all. And you were wonderful, too. Mm, thank you. And so were you. Uh, well, uh, uh, thank you very much, but uh, after all, this is my wife's dream. <laughs> Dave, is that you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry we woke you up, Mom. Oh, you didn't. I woke myself up. You're leaving now? Yes, we are. Well, I know it's silly, but I just had this terrible dream that there were all these gangsters at the freight office and there was a terrible fight at the Emporium. It was awful. Will you stop worrying, Mom? We'll be all right. Besides, I'll take care of David. <laughs> well, I, I know it's silly, but you know how parents are. 
Your father and I just can't help being a little worried about you. Uh, yes, I'm David Nelson. We're here to pick up that shipment for the Emporium. Oh, yes, I have it all ready for you. Would you sign here, please? Sure. It's right back here. Can I help you with it? Oh, no, thanks. That's okay. I think we can manage it. Uh, can you borrow your dolly? Oh, sure. Just leave it outside when you're finished. Okay. Exciting's happened to us yet. Looks like this is going to be pretty dull. Yeah, I hate to disappoint Mom. Hello. Yeah, they just picked up the crate. Just this minute. Yeah. Okay. Okay, fellas, you can put it over here. Okay. Now, I, I certainly do appreciate this. Did you have any trouble? No, not at all. Just a little trouble keeping awake. <laughs> of course, our mother expected us to be hijacked by a couple of gangsters. Well, I don't know as I laugh about that. You know, those things happen. This is a pretty valuable shipment. You're not trying to scare us, are you? No, of course not. Okay, you guys, we'll take over now. <laughs> take it easy, fellas. We're on your side. Hello, Joe. Hello, Charlie. Hi, Miss Winters. They're special police. They work for the Emporium. Oh. I guess we're a little more nervous than we thought. Well, it's all yours. Oh, and thanks again, fellas. Oh, that's okay. Anytime. Come on! Will you cut it out? Oh, this guy's sneaking around outside. This is my father. I, I, I tried to tell him. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't hurt your arm. Oh. <laughs> that's all right. I hope I didn't hurt your nose. Oh, that's okay. What are you doing down here anyway, Pop? Well, uh, you know your mother. She insisted I follow you guys down here. And she called the freight office and told the man to phone just as soon as you guys picked up the crate. <laughs> no kidding. Well, at least now we can all go home and get some sleep. Gee, I I'm sorry about your nose. I think if you put an ice pack on it, it'll be all right in a few days. It's okay. Uh, see you guys home. Okay, okay Pop. Pop. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye. Well, I guess I'd better get this unpacked and set up. Do you want us to give you a hand? Well, maybe you could help me get the case opened up. It's going to be kind of tough getting these boards loose. There's no place to get a hold of them. Is there a crowbar around here any place? Gee, not that I know of. Oh, wait a second. Maybe I can help you. I is there anything breakable in here? No, some bronze figurines and a small tapestry. Oh, that's good. glad it was the old guy that punched me in the nose. Come on, you guys. Eat your breakfast before it gets cold. Okay, Mom. Okay. okay. You mean you're still not convinced that karate is the best means of self-defense? Oh, you proved it's a good way to open boxes. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, that hardly has anything to do with defending yourself. Come on, your eggs are getting cold. Okay, okay. You know, I, I hate to sound like I'm bragging, but I, I really tagged that guy pretty good. Oh, uh, wait a minute, Pop. Uh, didn't he drag you into the room with a hammerlock? That's a wrestling hold. Well, now, if you studied karate, you could have had them both on the floor before they knew what hit him. Well, you're all wrong. There's no need for violence. There isn't anything that can't be settled with a little diplomacy. And if you guys don't eat your eggs before they get cold, I'll clobber you. <laughs> Come on, fellas, you can't argue with diplomacy. <laughs> The classics live here on KCTV.